And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you my thoughts and movie review for the brand new sequel 2014 sequel for Godzilla titled Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now if you've seen Godzilla the 2014 version this is basically a continuation this movie takes place five years and now the monsters are pretty much in the public eye everybody knows about them they still fear them and you know things go you know kind of crazy when certain monsters come out of, out of their little hiding spots and play this is also connected to 2017's Kong Skull Island shared universe this movie stars Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things uh Vermeer Vermega from Conjuring, I'll probably butcher that and I apologize, she's awesome. And um, uh, Kinta Kabinabi, uh, Wanchanabi, I probably butchered that as well, I apologize. He's in this movie also, he was in the 2014 version, he's an actor who goes, let them fight. He's back in this movie as well. And there's another actor in this movie who's like the main guy, but I can't remember his name and I apologize for that. So, let's talk about this movie. So, basically... Uh, Millie Bobby Brown, her parents work for Monarch and you know, their jobs are basically to cop, you know, discover these mythical creatures all over the world Godzilla, Ronan um, Mothra, King Ghidorah you know, try to figure out why they're on this planet and why, what, what's their purpose and also try, I guess try to protect them, some of them try to protect them some of them end up want to use them for power and destruction and you know the government's like hey wait, 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 wait. you guys didn't know, tell us any about or any of these creatures so why the heck should we trust you you see the government try to you know shut down the monarch and um it, it gets pretty intense when the monsters start to come out and literally wreck wreck havoc and um i'm gonna say right off, right off the back for me this movie works this movie's great i love this movie a lot this movie's a lot of fun but there are some moments here that I feel like a lot of people aren't going to like. I mean, some of the human characters are like, okay, really? There are some cool, funny moments that I laughed and I thought it was funny. But um, I guess some people might think that they're a little cheesy. Because you expect to see Godzilla and all these monsters in the movie. They're in this movie. I'm letting you guys know that right now. All the monsters that you've seen the, in the trailers, they're in the movie and a lot more. So, um, those fight scenes that they have, that you see in the trailers, they're pretty much nothing compared to what you see in this movie, and it's great, so I love every single one of them, moment of it. There are some moments in this movie, I can, I can, like I say, see people like, okay, really, do we have to go through these backstories about these humans? And there's a little backstory with one particular, well, just a family, I would say, but, um, it's whatever to me. I don't really pay mind to it. The characters were cool to me, but you know they don't really help the, the situation. They help the situation, but it's like really we we could have they could have not used that plot point to make this movie better, and it didn't help it make it worse. So it was just there to be there, you know, because there's a major plot point, but I don't want to spoil it because if you want to see it, you know. You know what? I'm going to spoil it for you. If you don't want to hear about it, I apologize. You can mute me right now because it's just such a simple little thing, but I don't know how I can explain it. So, apparently, um, uh, Millie Bobby Brown's mother, she created this machine that apparently they can control the monsters. And pretty much bad guys want to go after it and try to use it to control them for themselves. Stupid plot. Yes, I get it. I understand. It's very stupid as well the way that they use it, but um And that's the end of the spoilers. So there you go. You've been warned. Like I said, it wasn't too much of a big spoiler But the way that they use it and the way certain characters use it against the for like, you know, for the monsters It's like, oh, okay makes sense But you couldn't not use that to make it even better. But what can you do? You know what I mean? You gotta have some kind of human characters in these movies I feel like, but when it when it comes to the hardcore of this movie, seeing the monster, seeing Godzilla do his wrecked some shit, it's awesome. It's amazing. It's great. It's beautiful. 
Mothra is great. Rodan is cool. King Ghidorah. Wow, King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah is awesome. And by the way, this movie is actually based off the original 19, I think, 42, 45 remake of the same name. A couple of mine differences here and there, but um, it's an old kaiju movie with the same name, obviously. You see Godzilla do his thing and it's great. That's all I'm going to say. This movie's fun. I like it a lot. You know, there are some moments here like, yeah, human stuff. It's like, okay, let's get back to the monsters and see them wreck some stuff. And it's great. And I like every moment of it. And it's fun. It's, there's an after credit, which I was like, oh, thank you. But, um, yeah, it's going to be really cool to see what comes next. Even though I kind of have a feeling what's coming up next. I'm talking about Godzilla 3. I'm not talking about Kong versus Godzilla. And not a spoiler here, but they don't really tease the next movie to be Kong versus Godzilla. They tease kind of Godzilla 3. That's all I'm going to say. What it is, you're going to have to wait to the end of the credits to see it. But um, it's pretty cool. They do mention Skull Island in this movie, but briefly. And it's kind of interesting. So at least they acknowledge it that it exists. Because that's the, technically the next movie. It comes out next May. Kong vs. Godzilla. That's going to be the next movie. But the after credit has nothing to do with Kong. It literally sets up maybe a possible Godzilla 3. Depending on how much this movie makes this weekend. And obviously, hopefully King Kong vs. Godzilla does make more as well. So, who knows. So, this cliffhanger can... This after credit can lead to the next movie, or it can just be like, yeah, it's there, but we didn't make money, so we're not going to do it. So, um, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Like I said, I like King, King Kong, uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I thought it was really good. It's a lot of fun, minus certain things here and there with the humans. It's like, okay, whatever. But um, you might not like that part. You might love that part. I certainly like these parts with these characters. I like that all the moments of the movie with them, but like I said, I can understand why people would come to say that they didn't like these characters, but they just wanted to focus on the monsters, and the monsters are all here. You see a lot of more Godzilla, because we didn't really see a lot of him in the last one. I think this movie is far more superior than the 2014. Personally, I still like the original 1996 version. Don't laugh. I love that movie. That movie's amazing. Anyway, and... Um, yeah, all I'm going to say is go check it out. Have a good time with this movie. Uh, you won't be too disappointed with it. You might be disappointed because of the humans. If you just want to go see the monsters, duke it out. You come to, you go to the right movie. Just go check it out. I, I, I recommend just checking it out for yourself and see what you think about it. But anyway, like I said, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about Godzilla King of the Monsters. If you saw it and if you... Are, have, if you haven't seen the movie, let me know. Are you planning on seeing it? Do you want to see it? Do you even care about Godzilla movies anymore? Do you think it's a waste of time? Leave a comment below. Let me know. Thank you very much and have a good day.